So, you want a railway story while you wait for the London train? It's a story I've never told before, so I'll tell it to you again. I was only a guard at the time, sir, on the London and Smasham line, but I shan't forget the mishap to the 1169. Twas a terrible foggy night, sir, and a day I shan't forget. The fog were a kind of scotch mist, sir, and the train, it was somehow wet. The train ran along the line, sir, and the line ran along the ground. The engine were full of steam, sir, and the wheels were going round. What made the wheels go round and round, it's more than I can say. But the signal was dead against us, so we went the other way. We were going a mile a minute when I stepped out on the line, and the driver said we were due, sir, at 11.69. So I got back into the van, sir, and swallowed a bottle of bass, while we waited two hours or more, sir, for a luggage train to pass, when all of a sudden I heard, sir, the sound of a mighty crash. We could hear the shrieks of survivors, and I thought of their ready cash. So, after I'd finished my pipe, sir, I strolled out on the line and gazed on the wretched wreckage of the 1169. For the coaches were all in an heap, sir, though why I cannot tell. And the passengers lying around us, they were none of them looking well. They slept their last sleep on the sleepers. We could hear the sleepers snore. It's a sight I've never seen, sir, and shall never see before. For the line was a mess of hats, sir, and blouses all over the place. Well, oh, one of the passengers' noses was in the middle of his face. We could hear the hiss of the engines and the moans of the living souls. I thought of the missus at home, sir, and collared some of the coals. I shall never forget the sight, sir, though I can't remember it now. But with my tatter banner I wipe a tear from my brow. I picked my way through the wreckage and got to the heart of the smash. I busied myself with the injured and helped myself to the cash. For I wanted the money badly, cause my rent was in arrears. And my mother-in-law had come, sir, on a visit for sixty years. Then I saw a sweet young lady in a mashed potato state, and her final words were, Doctor, is my hat on straight? We stumbled across the stoker, and I thought that he was dead, for his body and legs were missing, and we couldn't find his head. I forget what happened next, sir. I remember it quite well. The crashing of heavy timber, all a-tumbling as it fell, the doctors and the looters were around us by the score, and the police were an hour late, sir, as they've often been before. The two of us lifted the engine and placed it upon the line. But here's your down train up, sir. The 1169.